Hello, hello, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the previous episode, we completed our second to last trouble at the Trouble Center, and it involved going all the way down to around floor 20 of the Pit of 100 Trials, and I can't get away from these people running in front of my camera, can I? So, today, I am going to need all the powers of Wario with the W Emblem Badge equipped in order to solve the final trouble. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna march right up to the Trouble Center, barge in, and see, see what is down at the bottom of the list. Swab, erase that graffiti. I need someone to go to 50th floor of, oh, it's another bob -omb. I need someone to go to 50th floor of Pit of 100 Trials for me, shaboom. So, I need someone with pretty tough shablui. For details, please see me next to Cannon Statue in Far Outpost Shaboomity. Oh dear. I guess I am going all the way to, uh, to Far Outpost, am I not? Uh, except I actually intended to accept this trouble, yes. Do it and do it right. Okay, Egbert. Uh, looks like we are taking one last trip out to Far Outpost. Really not a fan of the path full of enemies that leads here. So, are you the bob I must speak to? You agreed to help for my trouble, Shop Louie. Thanks to you, Shaboom. There is dungeon under Rogueport called Pit of 100 Trials, Shakao. I heard if one writes wish on wall of 50th floor, then wish comes through, Shapop. Oh, that's a new one. I used special big explosion to get down to 50th floor and write wish, Shakrak. And then I realized whole thing was hoax, Shadoop. I risked life getting down there for useless graffiti. I want it erased, Shashum. I would erase it myself, but I don't think I could get down there again, Shakroom. So could you go down to 50th floor of Pit of 100 Trials and erase graffiti, please, Shablu. Okay, well, because you asked so nicely and said what was it? Shapop? That was a good one. Okay, Egbert. Egbert, are you ready for this? Are you ready for 50 floors of Pit of 100 Trials? Well, good news. You will not have to sit through all that because last time you saw floors 1 through 20. So I will save you a little bit of agony and see you down at floor number 20. Here we go. Okay, so here we are back down at floor 20. This is the farthest I have been in this playthrough. And we have even been graced by this fellow. Hey, 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 yo, I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. Yeah, so, um, what this guy does is... Every once in a while, randomly, he wasn't here last time, but randomly he will show up in the Pit of a Hundred Trials and sell you extremely expensive healing and battle items. So if you want to pay 60 coins for a thing of maple syrup, it's here, you can do that. Uh, however, I haven't used any of my items yet. And I, I think I'm actually still at, like, full health, yeah. So I don't need to waste my money. But we are going down to floor 21. Where we now have spiky Gloombas. I don't think we've seen any of them yet. So, Goombella, oh, I guess I can't first strike you now, can I? No, I can't. Just in case. Oh, there are two of you. Oh, no. 
fire flower. Do I want to get smacked with a fire flower? Kinda don't. Kinda don't. So let's deal with you first. I also don't want to get smacked with a spiked Gloomba now that I think about it. So let's get rid of one of them first. Oh, you're not gonna do enough damage, are you, Koops? No. Uh, you see, I've actually been messing around with the numbers for some of my partners to see how much they do. And, uh, mm, yeah, these, these can actually hurt me. Oh, and you're invisible. Well, that ain't no good. Uh, but anyway, yes, I have been messing around, checking out the numbers. Bobbery, Flurry, and Egbert, uh, they... Very rude. Uh, they all do the most damage in a single hit. Well, I guess Egbert doesn't. Egbert has multiple hits that add up to the same amount of damage. Uh, Goom Goombella does... Even more damage than that, actually. Yes, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Goombella, her two attacks add up to eight damage right now. And uh, I just swapped right back to Koops, who is not who I wanted. Um, I wanted Goombella, yes. Uh, the other highest seemed to do seven with a single attack up item. And Koops does six. I guess the others just do about six. Anyway, enough of all that. That's a spiky Gloomba. It's a spiky Goomba that likes dark places. Max HP is seven, attack is four, defense is zero. Its attack is pretty high, huh? I'm sure you know this, but try not to jump on the spike. I wonder if I'd look like that if I stayed down here long enough. I'd rather not think about that. Uh, are there tanning salons in Roeport? Not that I have seen. But I guess you're free to look. And yes, I, of course, have two attack up items. So I do a lot of damage. And you are no longer invisible, which means four and four. Nice. You know, it is a little bit disappointing that uh, Egbert's multiple hits don't all get powered up by my badges. Only the first one. Whereas both of Goombella's hits get powered up. It's a little weird. I mean, yeah, sure. Egbert would be super broken if all six of his hits got an extra, uh, power. Uh, hello. Ooh, I forgot about these fellows. Hey, what's up? I'm a mover. I know a few things about getting through this dungeon. For a few coins, I can move you where you want to go. Uh, where do you want to go? Ooh, so you can pay these punies to send you down or up. I don't want any of that. I am not going to cheat. I want to see every floor. Although I think that, again, these are random and they do override whatever enemy would have been here. So I guess we'll never know what was supposed to be on that floor. Ooh, Lackey Twos. Lackey Twos? Haven't seen a lot of them. Are you the same one that I fought in Glitzville? I wonder. Maybe I shouldn't do too much damage to you. Ah, no. You're the same one. I already had that tattle information. And another swing of the hammer. Another eight damage. Nice. I guess also worth mentioning, on my way down here, I came across no less than two enemies that had badges, and I stole them both. I promise, maybe, one day I will actually catch that on camera. One day. Ooh, bob -oms. hi -ya. Now, if I recall correctly, uh, bob -oms almost, almost gave me a game over back in Glitzville. So I am not going to make the same mistake. You see, in the original Paper Mario, they only did two damage when they exploded. 
Uh, in this game, they do five. So I don't fancy getting hit by any five damage bob -ombs. I'd rather keep my health as high as possible. Yeah, they do nothing when they aren't angry. And I have two defense. And that x naught is holding a rock. He means to throw that at me. But he never got the chance. And we're just raking in the money. I've probably made about a hundred coins so far. So, I suppose if I ever need those 60 coin healing items, uh, it's not so bad. Okay, you, uh, oh, where'd you go? You need to be hit with my hammer. Bandits! Bandits! Ah, do I want to deal with the bandits first, or do I want to deal with the boo? I guess the boo... Because they do enough damage to conceivably hurt me. Mind you, those happy heart badges... Coming in handy for the little bits of chip damage that I might take every now and then. Very nice, very nice. Still only getting this single star point per battle, though. I do await the time that that increases. Because I feel like I'm still a low enough level that... Maybe I could even grow up a level here? Uh, before floor 50. Okay, you, get over here. Ooh, you have an item, and you have an item. Oh dear. Okay, I am immune to the background falling on my head. That is good. Guess I'm not super afraid of the booze. Though if I could avoid being miniified, uh, that would be ideal. Oh, and you're not even turning invisible. Lovely. That would have been a waste of time. And if there's one thing that I don't want to do as I fight down 50 floors of not very difficult battles, it is waste anyone's time. No, time is precious. Now, what, uh, what floor is this? This is like... I don't know. 27. There we go. It's floor 27. That was not my guess. Oh, eight more damage. And for the Goomba. How about another eight damage? Yeah, being able to one-shot things with these Power Plus badges, very useful. They are worth a lot of BP, but, I mean, they're good. Definitely helps. Oh, another Lackey, too. Hello! Get hit with a hammer. Ooh, and bob -ombs. Well, as we have seen, the bob are no threat. The Lackey 2 might be. Uh, but only 5 HP, mind you. Not so bad. Hiya! Nothing. In fact, I healed from that. I didn't heal anything because I'm at max health. But I would have healed... 40% of the way to a level up. We're getting there. Very, very slowly, we're getting there. I wonder what I will increase for my level up. Will it be BP? Hmm, I do wonder. bob on boo bob on boo 
get rid of you and jump on you. And you know what? Here, yeah, let's, uh, let's check out some numbers, huh? So Flurry, this should do seven damage, which I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, I didn't know that she was one of the more heavy hitters on your team. Ah, uh, yeah, Hammer again. I thought Bobbery was alone in that category, but I guess not. And of course, Goombella, well, I guess she's in a class of her own, since both of her hits end up getting buffed. Like I said, that's just not fair. Oh, hello, you have, uh, come to visit me twice on my travels, it would seem. I got the Zap-Tap badge, though, which uh, automatically electrocutes myself, or electrolyzes. I don't know what it's called, but it makes me electric and hurts enemies that contact me. Uh, how are, how are these prices looking? Oh, you've, uh, you've raised them, I see. 80 coins for that 10 FP. Yeah, that's, um, hmm. It's a scary exchange rate right there. Oh, hello. Hmm, I heard you attack. I've got to be ready to jump. Where are you? No, ho, ho. Oh, that went far. That went far. I didn't get the first strike. It's okay. Oh, there's two of you. Have I seen these? No, I haven't. Ooh, Dark Koopas. How much health do they have? Less than eight. Or maybe exactly eight. We will see. And got it. That's a Dark Koopa. It lives in dark places that the light never reaches. Max HP is eight. Attack is four. Defense is two. Ooh, these enemies, though. It's a bit tougher than a regular Koopa, so you won't be able to beat it easily. But it does have the same weakness as a regular Koopa. Flip it over and it's helpless. Why do you think it needs sunglasses down here anyway? What's the point? It's to look cool. The rule of cool. Oh uh, yeah, but we can just uh, jump on you and it'll be no problem. Still only that single star point. I don't know, these enemies are actually able to cut through my defenses at this point, so, um... Yeah, I might have to start thinking a bit harder about what I'm doing. Ooh, a, a hyper cleft. Okay, okay. And the sky blue Koopas as well. Just like from the Glitz Pit. Guess we were fighting some, uh, kind of advanced enemies out there, weren't we? So now, you have 4 HP. Uh, what do I do, huh? Miss Mouse? Can Miss Mouse even touch you? Will she get hurt by the spikes? I mean, Bobbery won't, so I can do this. Boom. 4 damage. They have a lot of defense. Okay, give me money. Ooh, that's a lot of money. It's like, what, eight coins? I could buy one-tenth of a maple syrup with that. What a steal. Ooh, buzzies! Buzzies! Uh-oh, no, no! Okay, come back. Come back. I need to jump on you. I need to jump on you. I am I am not, not doing it. There we go. That's a lot of buzzies. And they have a lot of health and a lot of defense. You know what? I don't feel like dealing with all those buzzies. So let's do this. And hope I can do five damage. Four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. 
Well, this should do five damage. Yes. Marvelous. I was not looking forward to dealing with all that. And two star points is nothing. I can pretty easily make that back. Look at all this money. Money, 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 money. It is very, very lucrative to take the trip down the pit of a hundred trials. I will give them that much. Oh, hey, look, another, uh, another Shady Koopa. Oh, dear, I got struck. You hit me right out of the air. My HP will recover, or FP, rather. What do I do against you? I wish... Actually, I don't wish I had Quake Hammer. Uh, yeah, I, I forgot. These guys, uh, they hurt when they flip over. So, uh, Bobbery... Oh, I don't think I can one-shot these things, can I? Indeed I can't. Because they will survive one hit from Goombella. Okay, okay, fine, be that way. We will do this. Smack, smack, smack. It's only five damage, but it'll cut through their defense. And they don't do that much damage, as long as they aren't mad. Ooh, they do one. But I heal one. So in the end, I guess it's okay. And love slap. Smack, smack, smack. And skip away stylishly. Okay, you. Good. I guarded that time. And, oh, Happy Heart didn't trigger. Darn it. I could have been at max. I could have been. But it looks like I'm starting off the next battle at a one health disadvantage. No! Uh, having, having some difficulties there, Miss Mouse. Uh-oh, I heard, I heard the bouncing, the fuzzies. Oh no, these are the fuzzies that steal FP. My FP is precious. What? Five. Five fuzzies, do I, do I just blast one of these or? No, you know what, you know what, given that I am Either way in this fight, going to lose FP. I might as well just, uh, sick coops on them. Six all around. Stylishly. And does this... Yeah, there we go. That'll max out my star power again. We're doing okay. We're still doing okay. Nothing to panic about on this... 35th sub-level of the Pit of 100 Trials. Shady Koopa. No, Dark Koopa. The shady ones are blue. Uh, but I should be... Oh, two of them? Really? That's, uh, that's all I've got to deal with? Easy. Nothing to it. Check this out. One more jump. And I didn't mess it up. Simple. I got a star point. We're almost halfway there. Almost. Although, having said that, I've probably made about 200 coins at this point, so those uh, expensive Luigi books at the general store looking uh, a little more affordable. Uh, how am I not hitting you? You're not moving very fast. My aim is just very poor. You have a super shroom. I don't have room for it, but, uh, you've got one. So I can hammer you, and that should be fine. Yes. And now Goombella should be able to knock you on your back. Yes. All right. No problem. Just gotta use some strategy. Think about these things logically. 
and of course, run around collecting all of the money that drops, uh, like the Wario that I am currently cosplaying. Ooh, this one flies, though it does not have a spike on it. Ooh, what'll I do when I inevitably encounter spiked buzzies? Well, that is a problem for future me. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we know what we're doing here. Once again, utilizing the Earth Tremor to deal with a swarm of flying beetles. Good thing these are not Pokemon rules or this would not work. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Made it all the way to the end. That'll do. That'll do. Now then, once again, down we go. What awaits down here? Oh, hello, Shady Koopa. No, no, no. Ooh, you go far and you go fast. Okay, am I scared of this? No, not really. I think this should be just fine. Because, again, we have seen that Goombella deals with buzzies, yeah, quite handily. And one more jump for the road. No problem. And now we are officially halfway to the next level. Good, good, good. And eat up all that money. Let's see what's on level 40, huh? What will I be rewarded with? And once again, you are here. I swear he doesn't always appear. Uh, though it kind of looks like he might. <laughs> 100 coins! Oh no! Mushroom and honey syrup, they're a little bit more affordable. Only 25 for 5 HP. That's, yeah, that's 5 coins per HP. That's, uh... Hmm, 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 yep. Sure. I think we'll let you sit on those items for a while. Uh, when Mario takes damage, occasionally recover an FP. Pity flower. I don't think I'll be using that. I would probably be better off not taking damage, to be quite honest. Ah, we have flying dark Koopas. Uh, dark para para Koopas, probably. Uh, maybe I... Okay. Okay, fine. A little bit of damage. Oh, the big bob -oms. Nice. I uh, have, to, have to get rid of you first, though. Uh, mm, upside down? Okay. Let's, uh... Okay. Hmm. No. No, 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 no. I'm not taking any chances. I'm not convinced that these things don't attack me from the floor. Goombella didn't say they did. But, yeah, yeah. I think the Dark Koopas in particular used to actually have a bunch of weird tricks in the original Paper Mario, so uh, maybe those didn't carry over, but maybe they did. Not taking chances. Not this time. So anyway, though, this is a dark paratroopa. It lives in dark, damp places. Max HP is 8, attack is 4, defense is 2. It's strong, but otherwise just like other paratroopas. It's airborne, so try to ground it first. Uh, thank you? Huh, that wasn't, uh, a very interesting one. I guess the book didn't have that much to say. Anyway, we can knock you down and give you one more head bonk. Good, good, good. And pick up a couple more coins. Oh, that one didn't even pay very well. I am disappointed. Oh, hello, friend. 
If only one of these fellows joined my party, that would be incredible. Oh, there's two of them. Well, they do have one defense, it looks like. Uh, but one defense isn't gonna cut it. Not when I have all this extra attack power. The entire audience is full of them. What a spectacle. That was a good fight. Uh, and it paid a little bit better than the last one, too. So, there we go. Down we go. And an, an ember. Uh, hello. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? Now, I am electrified. And I have fought these things in the past. So I can hammer this one. Ah, uh, they probably, uh... They probably will do damage, though, won't they? And I don't think I can touch them with many of my partners. My Koops is safe, of course, but uh, the other ones, maybe not so much. Oh, that, uh... Yeah, that did two damage. Okay. Now I know. Knowing is half the battle. I will be a little bit more prepared for that next time. Oh, going into this next fight with only 23 health, I don't know if I'll make it. I might have to struggle a little bit. Who's next? Who's next? Ooh. Have we have we fought the green pokies? I don't know. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna find out. How many of you are there? Only one? More than one? Oh good, there's multiple. And the spiked parabuzzies. Huh. Again, not sure how to deal with them. There's gotta be something. There's gotta be something I can do. Uh... No? Because Koops can't even hit them. I mean, Flurry can blow them away. Egbert could hit them, but their defense is too high. They're immune to fire, they're immune to explosions. Miss Mouse can't hit them. Huh. So, uh, my options are limited. Luckily, Earth Tremor is cheap and easy to use. So, once again, I will resort to this tactic. Uh, maybe not the most valiant or courageous of things to do. Uh, but there is something to be said for doing the easy thing sometimes. Oh, I messed up. I'm talking too much. This won't do five damage. Will it knock them down at least? No. I have to do that again! Alright, well, we can get rid of the pokey first, at least. There, take that. Huh, that is wild that they would have these enemies that I literally can't hurt without some sort of external help. I guess if I had hammer throw, I could do it. Is there really no partners that can hurt these? Like, Flurry... Hmm, I don't think Body Slam would do it. Oh, well, actually, yes, Flurry can hurt them. The kiss. She can kiss them, and that would definitely hurt them. Do I want to do that, though? No, not twice. Heck no. Okay. Uh, I guess we go back to Earth Tremor for 1 HP of damage. This could have been done more efficiently. 1, 2, 3, 4. Stick to counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2. It'll do enough. It'll do enough. Now, why couldn't I have done that the first time? Oh, look, I've even earned the item that they had. I don't want it. Uh, not that I could carry it anyway. I simply don't have room. Okay, 
Okay, fine. You know what? I see you there. Uh, right off the bat. So... Uh, what, what can I do? You know what? All or nothing is right here. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, let's sort these alphabetically again. There we go. Now, what is it? It's spike shield. Uh, all the way down to letter S for spike shield. Good. I'll just have to keep in mind that my attacks will do a little bit less damage. Oh, there's four of them! There's four of them! Alright. Alright. Plan B. We are using Earth Tremor again. I am going to need to do some serious appealing to the crowd to make back my star power, aren't I? Yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be a thing. Oh boy. How did I do that? How did I do that? I entered a trance-like state for that last one. But we got there. Ooh, that one star point. Well earned. Marvelous. Uh, what, what floor is this? I will check after I pick up all my money. Delicious, delicious money. 45. We're almost, almost to our destination, actually. Ooh, this is gonna be a longer episode, I fear. Ouch. Okay. Don't. Uh, oh, dizzy dial. Oh dear, I no longer have the, uh, the power that I need. Mind you, it wouldn't have mattered because these things, uh, hurt more anyway. Or they take more damage, rather. Uh, what do I do here? I will swap partner. Let's get you on the ground as well. Remember when I didn't want to test this with only one? Let's test it with two. Okay, good to know they have no dirty tricks up their sleeves. Huh. Okay. Let's, uh, let's shuffle back into Koops. Power shell everybody on the ground. Good, good, good. The bob -omb does have a defense, but that doesn't matter. There we go. Oh, I feel so weak without that one extra attack power. It's strange not doing that extra damage. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm changing back. Uh, uh, badges. I need, I need, I need the damage. All the damage. All or nothing, in fact. Maybe it's a crutch. I don't know. But, uh... Definitely helps. Oh, come on. Come back here, you. And, oh, good. Good thing I swapped out of the, uh, spike shield badge. I guess I really do need that level up, huh? Because, what, I have 54 BP? It's just not enough. Simply not enough. Now, how am I going to do this? Am I going to Earth Tremor again? No, you know what? I'm not going to. I don't care enough. And I'm only going down a couple more floors anyway. So maybe I can afford to spend a little bit of FP as a treat. You know, we can lip lock this. It's only three. And pucker up, Buzzy Beetle. We can do this. Uh oh, yeah, oh, there we go. It ignores defense. Honestly, Madam Flurry, since she can make Mario dodgy and she can heal herself like that, she makes a pretty darn good tanky party member. Like, she would be a very good bodyguard in later fights where such a thing might be required. Oh, but she is definitely not the party member to fight Embers with. Or Pokies. 
maybe the ball ball. Uh, what am I most afraid of, though? Probably the Ember. The Bob bomb won't do anything on its first turn. Uh, so we can swap you out. Uh, hey, Bobbery, we haven't seen a lot of you. There we go. Extra damage to the Embers. Because Bobbery has a lot of health, and he has this, like, Hold fast ability that does damage to whatever. Uh, oh, I don't have room for your item, I'm sorry. Uh, but it does extra damage to whatever hits him. But he doesn't have, like, protective status effects for Mario. And that kind of comes in handy, those support effects. Koops has that too. He can uh, increase Mario's defense though I have never used that ability. Maybe one day I will. What floor is this? Level 49. Well, I'm sorry, buddy. I am not actually going to skip floor 50. That would be foolish on my part, because that's exactly where I want to be. Oh. Is it just me, or, uh, or did the background change? I think it's a different color. Just slightly. Got a strange sack, an item that lets you carry up to 20 items. Ooh, that is excellent. Ooh, that is good. And now I have all this money, I can buy more healing items to you. Oh, mm, excellent. Can I read this? There is graffiti on the wall. Swab's wish. I want to get married to Bobolink, my dear love, in a shocker wedding. I want us to have 22 kids, so we can start soccer team Shablui. This graffiti was scrambled on with a fierce hand. It might never come off. That wasn't part of the graffiti, but the accent remains. I'm sorry, I must destroy your hopes and dreams. Uh, but hey, good luck marrying the love of your life. Is that all? Is there only the one little bit of graffiti? I guess there is. Do we keep going down? No. Not today. So, uh, since we're cutting through town anyway, how about we check out the last few stories that our good friend up on the roof here might have to tell us? Good day to you, sir. Yes. Uh, where are they? The Boo Heroine's Last Days. Ah, let's read about this. Once the blue, the blue heroine, the Boo Heroine hid her star in the steeple, she was trapped in the nearby town. Some say the crystal star lies in that steeple still. Really? That was five coins? The Blue Heroine. Okay, uh, Pirate King Cortez, uh, this promises to be a little more interesting. The Koopa Hero went to a southern isle to hide his star where none would find it. But the Koopa was so tired from his journey that the Pirate Cortez stole it easily. In that very instant, the brave Koopa was trapped in an inescapable chest. But Cortez did not realize the power of the star and lost it among his treasures. Well, he didn't really lose it, it was sitting right on top. Uh, the Toad Hero's final days. For a mere five coins. The strong Toad held his star and continued his arduous journey. But eventually, the miles took their toll upon him and he collapsed. A traveling healer happened by and saved his life, but the Toad knew his fate was to be trapped in the box when the star was gone. So he asked his healer to hide the star in a secret place known to no one. Interesting, I wonder which one that would have been. Poshley Heights, maybe? Uh, all becomes legend anyway, second last one. After the demon was sealed within the Palace of Shadow, many refused to come near that place of terror. But as the years passed, entire generations forgot. 
and the penniless and the immoral begin to congregate in this once barren place. This place soon became a populous harbor, the town of Rogueport. And some even began to say that the underground city held a legendary treasure. But they were unaware that the demon slept beneath them still. Hmm, well there we go, that's the founding of Rogueport. And finally, the magical map. The heroes knew that the seal might not last forever. And they sought to make the crystal stars available to one who might need them. So, before going to their individual dooms, they made a map to all the stars. And to prevent an evil force from misusing this map, they placed it in a box that could only be opened by the pure of heart. Ah. Princess Peach, pure of heart. And uh, I guess that brings us to the end of his tales. Very interesting. There is your deep Paper Mario lore. Alright, for the last time, hopefully, I have returned to Far Outpost. Hello, friend, I have cleaned up all of your graffiti. So, you erased my graffiti, shut path. Yes. You erased it, Shashloom. I am so grateful to you. But, it is not like I can actually confirm whether you uh, erased it or not, Shabu. Oh, uh, well, I guess I will just trust you, Shashakity. Take this reward, Shapow. Zesty made it for me when I told her how much I was missing the snow, Shafoom. I got a snow bunny, how cute, a zesty dessert that refills 15 HP but freezes you. I don't think I want to eat this. I am going to start trying to fulfill my own wish now. But you cannot tell anyone what it is, Shafoom. Promise me, Shakroom. I solved the trouble. Yes, I promise you. Good luck with your dating life. However, that does bring us to the end of this episode. We have now seen every single one of the troubles in the Trouble Center. And with that out of the way, there is one more, one more monumental task that we have to do, and that, of course, is to see what lies at the very bottom of the Pit of a Hundred Trials. So next episode, no matter how long it takes, we are going to go from floor 50 all the way down to floor 100. So look forward to that. But yes, that does bring us to the end of this episode, and I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I do hope that you join me again next time for what could very well be the final episode of this. Till then, ta-ta.